He's desperate. Hey, he is desperate. He is desperate. Bad to get this. Look at how he. Come here. Come here. You are so desperate, bro. Yo, what's good, y'all boys and girls out there in the world, man? I hope everyone is having a good day. If not, hopefully this upload can help your day. But I got a special one, man. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use. Sugar! Yes, sir, man. I'm going to be teaching everybody out there in the world, man, how to use Sugar Sean O'Malley. I'm a decent O'Malley, you know. I can say decent. I don't want to brag too much, man. Nah, all jokes aside, man. Enjoy the video. I'm not going to be talking too long, man. Enjoy. Okay, so a quick rundown as far as stats and perks and things of that nature. If you guys want to, you can pause the video here and read these specifically. But he has laser focus, taekwondo to defeat, frontal assault, and also skirmisher. And then we go over to his stand-up stats, and you see a lot of these things are very good. And the worst things are like the takedown defense and then the blocking. But you want to use head movement with Sean O'Malley, get out the way, and really fight from a distance, depending on the matchup also. Now, we go over to the grappling, and you see everything is basically 80s. So, obviously, you don't want to be in any type of grappling exchange with Sean O'Malley. And then the health stats, he has a good chin. The cardio is good. The body health is meh. And then the legs are bad, okay? Then the recovery is good as well. Then we go over to his top moves, and he has the Celtic Cross or the Celtic, whichever one you prefer to say. The Roundhouse is a level 4 strike. The Traditional Combos is level 4. The Body Straight is level 4. Body Cross, not straight, whichever one you want to say, all right? And also, the Lead Spinning Heel Kick is a level 4 move, all right? So, with that being said, man, we're going to go ahead and jump into some ranked games, and let's get started. All right, here we go with the first match. We're going against a Marlon Marais. What do you guys think about this actual matchup in real life? I'm interested to see this matchup. Like, you know, Marlon Rice has been on a bit of a little cold streak. And, I I mean, him and Sean O'Malley, a fight with those two, I think will be pretty interesting. I think Marlon has a fight lined up, though, I believe. But in this particular matchup, uh, it's kind of Muay Thai versus kickboxer. I have weak legs. So I want to keep him on the, on the uh, you know, the outside of my strikes. And the strikes best to use, nice spinning hill. The best strikes to use are like front kicks, pushing side kicks, um, you know, and just the, the longer range strikes. You guys see my reach advantage that I do have over him. See that one, two, push him back. Okay. I'm just going to look to fight from the outside, man. I know he wants to land crazy kicks. He throws a high kick there. Okay. He throws a high kick. Boom, we get out the way here. Faint the roundhouse. You just got to fight on the outside in this matchup with Sean O'Malley. Like, um, don't get me wrong. You probably can pressure, but I think the best case scenario is to... No, nice. 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 There you go. There you go. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy, man. But fight from the outside. And when I say fight from the outside, I don't mean necessarily, oh, you got to, you got to, um, you know... You got to be fighting on the back foot. Fighting from the outside is basically not pocket fighting. And you can see here, he is mixing me up right now. He tries to spin and heal me. Okay, so what he's doing right now is a lot of kicks, right? He's kicking me in the head, kicking me in the body. Um, So with him doing this, I'm going to completely change up my game plan, right? Into going more so a base of boxing and um, looking to work his body because he's throwing a lot of kicks. Also, I'm going to be looking to duck his high kick that he's throwing as well. Throws a spinning back fist. Roundhouse to the body. He throws an overhand. Spinning heel. Like I said, same thing. So, I, I don't want to throw any kicks and possibly be caught. So, I'm going to keep it a, a lot of boxing. But the things I will use are front kicks and things of that nature. Look at this, man. He's going crazy. And uh, we just got to make some little in uh, adjustments. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. You know what I mean? Boom. Catch his kick. We're going to throw a high kick here. Go to his body. Go to his body. And I'm, I'm not... You, see, you guys see my head health is pretty low. But he's going to... He's going to... What he's going to do in this matchup is he's going to make a real big mistake by throwing a high kick. He's really going to throw a high kick. I can't really use my lunges like I want to because he's throwing body roundhouse. There goes a high kick there. There goes a uh, spinning back fist. Cross. Body roundhouse. He blocks that. And notice how he's blocking my second strike. Right? He's blocking my second strike to the body. So that'll set up a nice little um, counter. Not a counter, but a nice setup for a high kick or something. Nice. See, I land a jab cross, gets it through the hands low. Throws the high, I mean, throws the body roundhouse. I catch it. 
They drop him down here. Push him back. Push him back. Three piece up top. He's probably about to throw something like a high kick or something. Let's push him back again. Okay, good round. He won that round for sure. But it's all good, man. It is all good. Let's check the stats real quick before the next round starts. You see, he had he landed. I don't even. He won that round. I didn't get to pay too much attention about the, the stats. Okay. And notice how when he gets distance, that's when he throws his kicks. Like when he gets a little bit of distance, that's when he starts to throw those kicks. He's throwing spinning back fists as well. Jab cross. Body roundhouse. You see how the hands are going low? Right? Boom. Three strikes up top. Uppercut. Boom. Let's throw a spinning heel. Oh. He did ring his hands low. Three piece. We're going to go to his body. Out of range. Okay. And I feel like he's going to make the mistake of uh, going to my... Oh, that's going to hurt right there. Jab cross. Body roundhouse. And just... You see, notice how I've, I've gone through a little bit of adversity. Now, and I like that. Because... You know, not every match is going to be you just running through somebody. Sometimes it's about making in-game adjustments. And, you know, that's how you, you win your matches. You know, he's rocked me a, a few times. But I've made the adjustments. And now it's looking like the fight is swinging towards me. Right? Nice. Okay. Jab cross. And I'm going to set up this head kick nicely. Like, the head kick is coming. And he's not going to be ready for it. See? See how hands go low? Boom. High kick. Right there. Perfect setup. We drop him down here. Okay. And that's the end of the fight. Perfect game plan. Perfect execution, man. Fought through a little adversity in round one. Round two, we come back and we make reads on what he's doing. As you see here, he kept dropping the hands low. Kept dropping the hands low after the first strike. So we threw the cross up top. Boom. Boom. Then through the high kick and it just knocked him down. And that was that was murder she wrote, man. Perfect execution here. Can't, can't get any better than this. Like, picture perfect, man. But with that being said, guys, I want to go ahead and check the stats very quickly. And then we're going to jump into the next fight. And I actually landed more to him. Let's check back to round one. Okay, round one, I landed more to him. But he landed more significant. And he also got three rocks. But all in all, you guys see, look at my accuracy. I threw 121 and I landed 71. So great accuracy. But let's go ahead and jump into the next fight. Okay, so here we go with another matchup. Why is it when I do my, my showcase videos, I'm always playing people like lower than Division 20. I hate it, man. I really do. I be wanting to play the top guys, man, to try to see if I can work and make reads and do maneuvers and things of that nature with the top guys. But here we go. We're playing the Aldo, and it's kind of the same game plan as um as Marlon Marais. But with the Aldo, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's going to be way tougher. And I'm also going to look to... Um, cradle, not cradle, but like cuddle. Pause, cause somebody gonna say pause. It's you know be real close to Aldo, but I don't want to be engaging into too much inside fighting. I just want to be close so his low kicks don't do too much damage. But Aldo doesn't have the best gas tank, um. So I either want to be way outside of range of his kicks, or I want to be inside of the pocket, you know, where his kicks will be uh, you know, do minimal damage. Boom, go for the roundhouse to the body. Also, notice how I'm in this um, southpaw stance, right? So because of that, I check his kick, nice. Because of that, uh, my kicks to the, his open side, which is basically the rear side, does more damage. So I'm going to be definitely looking to uh, take advantage of that. Okay, let's get out of range completely. See, we got a range. Okay, there's a body roundhouse. Overcut to the body. And uh, something I want to sh uh, say, shout out to Ed Parker for uh, what he showed me. We was, we was sparring yesterday, and uh, he was going to the body, and then he immediately slipped his head off the center line. And that helps you not, you know, a lot of times you throw body uh, hooks or body uppercuts, and your opponent will, um, you know, hit you with a block counter. And it helped me out a lot because I noticed that you're able to actually slip that uh, strike. So, again, shout out to Ed Parker for that, but... You guys see here, man. I'm either staying way out of range or I'm staying in range, man. I'm not looking to be in too much kickboxing with Aldo. You know, he's a, a very good Muay Thai kickboxer. Whichever, whatever you want to guys want to call him, man. I don't 
I won't say nothing like be like, oh yeah, he's definitely that because somebody will, will grill me. Catch his kick here. Let's throw a high kick. He blocks it. Okay, get out, get out the way. We back up. He hits me with a clean low kick, faint. Body roundhouse. He blocks it. Jab cross. We hook. Just want to see what he's doing. Go to his body. Go to his body again. Slip. Throw a front kick. We push him back. Push a side kick. He gets out the way. Okay. And I like to work people body like this because it conditions them. It conditions them so uh nice low kick. Look at my leg. Sean O'Malley has very low leg health, man. Boom. It conditions them so I can, you know, possibly land something crazy up top later. Ooh, nice head movement. Then he's mixed up with the low kick. Then no other look at my leg. Oh man, I'm gonna switch dances. I'm working his body. I don't know if you guys know this, man. It's the quick strikes, man. It's those quick little strikes to add up. You know, a lot of people want to throw a whole bunch of crazy stuff to the body. It's these that quick lead hooks, the you know, jab crosses to the body. They add up, man. They really do. A good round, man. Good round, good round for sure. Check the stats very quickly. Okay, so I landed over half of my strikes. He threw 91, landed 34. And I landed way over half of my strikes. So good accuracy for me. Nice try to high kick. Boom. And then look at look at Aldo's body. He's working my leg, but I really want to land the low kick. I mean the rear roundhouses to the body. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky. Okay. Nope. Check that kick. Jab cross. High kick. He thought I was going to go to the body. Now I'm going to go to the body. Fake to the body. Up to the head. And he hits with a hook and knocks me down. That was nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, that's something you got to be wary of, you know, when you're going against somebody that is, uh, you know, high division. Punch. Punch. Is that, that, that duck, man. So, I'm, now I'm not, probably won't throw a high kick uh, like that. Because I don't want to be, I could have got flash KO right there. Go to the body. Boom. To the body. Nice head movement. Okay. You check that kick. Lee hook up top. Go to the body. Then go back up top to the head. He blocks it. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. He doesn't block it, but he lunges out the way. Okay. I use my longer range of strikes. Push him back again. Push him back again. Front kick to the face, but he actually whiffs. To the body. And just mixing it up. Giving him an overall mix, man. Sean O'Malley is not easy to use. I can tell you that right now. Nice. Let's go high kick. Try to catch him. I've been killing his. I know his body health is not looking good. Like... If he doesn't do something, he's definitely getting body rocked in this round or the next round. Woo! Okay. I didn't try to do that kick. I tried to do something else. But I'll take it. Okay. And now I've got a little bit more comfortable with fighting against this Aldo. So, you know, at first I was real cautious about the kicks. But I'm not too worried about them now. As you, you guys can see with my game, there goes the body rock. Boom, boom. Faint. Woo! So, what he's doing is he is lunging. So, I need to be careful. First of all, my stamina management. Nice high kick. Okay. Let's keep it. Let's keep it a little bit more, uh, more clean. Next round. I think I'll do a little bit more boxing because he, my kicks is killing my stamina. It's really killing my stamina with my kicks. So we're going to be looking to uh, work. Nice uppercut. Work it to the body. Next round with the punches. But good round for sure. But his, his body is getting deleted right now. Here we go. Okay. And I'm actually going to switch stance because I want to land that lead hook to his open side. It's a real quick strike. Boom. That one didn't land even though it looked like it. Okay. And I won't just abandon kicks completely. I'll just be more boxing based. 
Nice low kick. Okay. We check that kick. Now throw a kick here because he's rocked. Throw a kick again. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Try to take me down. He likes to duck. Let's throw a front kick. Catch him here. Let's throw another one. Okay. Nope. Throw a high kick. And you can see this is Aldo. Obviously, you know, his his body is hurting. Nice. His body is hurting 100 percent. He's ducking. He's trying to. And that's why I said I won't throw any throw any. Uh, throw any crazy type of um, kicks. I want to I want to do a combination so bad. I can't lie to y'all. And I may try it. I may try it. Okay, that was me trying. I'm not going to do it again because if he ducked, it would have been curtains for me. We landed that throw front kick. He likes to duck. What about this kick? Nope. Cross, roundhouse to the body. And you guys can see it's it's the bitter end for my boy right here, man. Throw roundhouse to the body. We drop him down. It's the bitter end, man. That's why you got you to gotta watch the body. Rock the body here. Whoo! Almost caught him with that. All right, we're going we gonna to get him out of here. We're going to get him out of here. Up to the body. And you guys can see he's obviously fatigued. Let's go fake high, then to the body. Nope. Jab, cross, roundhouse to the body, DM. Good fight, Aldo. Good fight, brother. Let's do the backflip. All right. Hopefully, we can fight like a, a, a yawn next. And I want to check again. I want to check the stats again before I jump into the next fight. Just to see how I did. I feel like that last round I kind of was missing a lot of strikes. But I was missing a lot of big strikes. Okay, so we threw 234 and landed 103. So that's some pretty good accuracy. Some very good accuracy in my opinion. Um, But let's move on to the next fight. Oh my goodness, Division 16. EA, stop doing this to me, man. Because when I'm playing ranked and I'm streaming, I'm going to get straight Division 20 cheesers, bro. Now y'all trying to throw me some Division 16, 19 opponents, man. Give me some tryhards. Here we go, though, man. We're going against a Dominic Cruz, and uh, he has some very good movement. So against Dominic Cruz, I want to try to work the legs, you know. He does have a very high switch stance. So, but I want to try to work his legs because he does a lot of movements. He does a real lot of movement. Depends if he will use those signature Dominic Cruz movements or not. But also, he has some real good footwork. Okay. And I can see that he's... You can notice that he's blocking low. He is, like, dropping his block low sometimes. Woo! Landing some real good kicks on him. No, Dominic Cruz, man. If you don't know, I use, I use him as well myself. Nice crab cross. And uh, in my opinion, guys, if you're not using Dominic Cruz's signature like movements, I don't suggest you using him. Those is that's what makes him so unique. It's his signature movement. If not, if you're just gonna like box and kickbox with him, I highly recommend you use TJ Dillashaw. Obviously, maybe he just wants to use Cruz, but I would recommend the TJ Dillashaw pick. And notice how this guy's going a lot of jab cross, jab crosses. Right? A lot of jab cross, jab cross again. And he's just going to get countered. I'm just going to throw his, uh, there goes the hook. Then he drops his boom. There we go. All right. Boom. Okay. Nice head movement. Jab cross. And it's kind of the typical thing to do is just throw jab crosses in UFC 4. Or double jabs with Lee Hook Cross or double or jab cross. Okay. But he's throwing a lot of strikes. Still looking to kick his legs. Going to be fighting from the outside. Push him down. Throw two knees to his face. Knee, knee. Punch at the end. Okay. 
You guys can see he's really working my head off off of jab crosses. Boom, throw that. Okay, jab crosses again. Now, um, with his game plan that he's doing here, he won't gas out, really. He won't gas out, really, unless he throws too, too much. Because the jab crosses. Oh, yeah, come here. Come here. Two knees to the head. If I can land some clean counters, you notice, man, just jab cross. Just jab cross. Look at my head off. Yeah. It, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a it's a pretty a good mix-up. I mean, obviously, I think it's way too easy to just do what he's doing. You know, I think it should be more punishment. You know, just walking forward like a rock'em, sock'em robot. Uh, but what he's doing is effective. It's very effective. Just walk forward, throw jab cross, and uh, throw jab real hook to try to mix him up. As you see here. Okay. Now I'm going to switch my whole game plan into looking to try to counter him. I'm not going to really look for too much defense or, I mean, offense, I mean. And I'm just going to be looking to counter him. Right? Now that's the problem with with, uh, with trying to be defensive like I'm being. You see how I slip my head to the side and um, look at this. <laughs> I slipped my head to the side, and uh, his strike still landed. Which is supposed to be a thing, but we'll take it. There goes the jab cross. Boom. We drop him here. Throw something crazy. We knock him down again. Let's try to finish the fight here. I don't think we will. I think we will. Let's try to posture up and get back up to the feet. Nope, we're denying that all day. Back up to the feet. So we're conditioning his chin right now. But again. Okay. Go to the body. Up top. You guys see, man, what he's doing. Even against me, it's being pretty effective. It's pretty effective even against me, man. Boom. Drop him down here. Let's try to get the finish. Nope. Can't get it. Okay. The most obvious thing for me to do right now is posture up. So let's try to go top mount. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll take it. He's probably going to try to go for a rear naked choke. Yep. Of course. Boom. Let's go backside. Just going to be calm. And again, Sean O'Malley's, uh, his bottom game. Well, the ground game really is just terrible. He's probably going to try to go for a naked choke again. Yep. It's pretty obvious, bro. Don Julio. You must be drunk right now. His name is Don Julio. Let's try to get back up to the feet. We do. All right. Try to drag me forward. Boom. We get the backside. And I, I, now, why I did this exactly is because I've seen he had the, the caution symbol on his stamina. So, that just meant. Oh, my goodness, bro. You see how, he, like, good night. Everything, like, he, he made no in-game adjustments. Everything he did was jab cross or jab rear hook. Or hook, 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 hook. And uh, I, I looked to counter. I adjusted to it and threw slip, slip crosses. All right? Slip cross. Simple, easy stuff, man. There's no point in even checking the stats here. But I did slip his front kick there and throw the rear hook. And put it on the bed, man. I'll, I'll try to get in one more fight. Hopefully, I can get a uh, somebody using a high-level opponent. All right, let's get it. All right, here we go, man. Division 20, Yan. Thank you. I am up on him 2-0, but I get to fight a Yan. Now, against Yan, you got to switch up your whole game plan. That being aggressive, nah. It, it, it's time to outside kickbox, seriously. And you got to be strict because Yan is a very, very, very good pressure boxer, Okay. So, we're going to be looking to really fight from the outside. Use our front kicks, pushing side kicks, and just not look to... We can throw counters, don't get me wrong, but we got to fight from the outside. Jan has some insane health stats, you know. So, just going to have to really focus. And let's see what he's doing. Let's see about his block and his footwork. Boom, hook to the body. Roundhouse to the body. Just look to work his body. 
Nice. That goes to boxing. Nice. Hook up top. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Head movement. Okay. Don't really know about what this guy's going to do. We check that kick. Nice. Okay. Ah. Okay. Switch stances. Boom. Cross roundhouse. Push him back. I don't want to engage in a firefight with Jan, man. It's just not the smart thing to do. Kick his legs. We're just going to be looking for an overall kickboxing type of style, man. Oh, nice round. Okay. He's not really giving me too much to work with as far as offense. So I will, you know, mix it up. Go to his body, go to his legs, go to his head, everything. Boom, go to the head, to the, to the body. Boom, go to the legs. Boom, go up top. Okay. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to be on the inside fighting with him. I'll, I'll be in the inside, but I probably won't be exchanging. Nice, nice. Boom! Go for the low kick, faint. Okay. Woo! Woo! Okay. Go for the low kick. I'm just trying to keep everything, you know. <laughs> That's funny. We check that kick. Boom, go to the body. You notice how I'm working the body. I'm working his legs. And I'm working the head, man. Body, body. Cross, body. Just did a lot of damage to his body. Throw a high kick here. Let's push him back. Okay. Ah, I missed the kick. Gotta be careful. I don't want to... Kill all my stamina. Faint, faint, faint. Go for the low kick. All right, good round. Good round, bro. Check the stats very quickly. So I threw 58, landed 29. Very good accuracy. Very good accuracy. Okay, and he threw 84, landed 29, which isn't bad, but obviously not as good as my accuracy. And I feel like I'm landing more effective strikes. But here we go. Notice, man, I'm fighting on the outside. I'm not giving him that inside fight that he's looking for. And that's what I got to be careful for is him, me missing my strike like that. Go for a low kick. Go for a low kick again. Nice. Go to my body. He shoots a takedown. Okay. Let's try throwing it to his face. He gets out the clinch. Cross, low kick. Let's push him back. Low kick, but he checks it. That's what I got to be careful for. I didn't try to throw that. I tried to throw a front kick to the face with the lead leg. But I'll take it. Push you back. Push you back. Push you back. Oh, I, I stopped ducking too early. Nice. Push you back, then push you back again. If you guys didn't know the combo, put that down into your... Oh, come here. Body. Body. Faint body. Go high. Nope. Okay. Kick the leg, but it misses. Push him back, then go for the low kick. Head movement. And notice I'm keeping everything clean, and I'm not engaging too much from the inside with Yon, man. Obviously... He could probably be just trying to walk me down and, you know, block break and things of that nature. But um, he's not really doing too much of that right now. So I respect it. Push him back. And you, no matter what round it is, man, you got to be careful. Yon is a problem. Kick the leg. Boom. Kick the leg again. And notice how I'm keeping it so clean. Push him back. Ooh, well timed. Let's go two knees to the body here. Then a punch. Nope. 
Cross, body roundhouse. Okay. Boom, catch him with that. Boom, boom. Body roundhouse, I miss. Push him back and just continue playing from the outside. Kick the leg. That's pushing back, then front kick pushing back, but he actually catches my kick. He's trying to walk me back. Those are spinning the elbow. Okay. Push you back. Oh. Kick the leg. Kick the leg again. And it's not really too smart to double up on low kicks. Okay. So this is a real clean fight for me. Like I said, I want to fight the upper echelon of the division. Oh, and caught a division. And got a division 20. Good fight. I mean, good round. Okay, let's check the stats on this round. So round two, we threw 42 and landed. I mean, we threw 83, landed 42. And again, this is another round with some very high accuracy. We got two stuns and wobbles and two body health events. Okay. Here we go. Touch him up. So we know his leg is probably weak. His body health also. And that's just, you know, just trying to land on everything. Cross. Ah, uh, I feel like I'll throw a high kick. Okay. Low kick. Faint. Give him something to think about from the outside. We catch his kick. Let's throw it. Oh! Nice. Okay. And it's all about adjustments, man. How is he going to adjust to what I'm doing? What is he going to do? How is he going to do it? Because like I said, right now, I'm just kickboxing from the outside. And I'm not engaging into a firefight with, with Jan. It just... What? Uh, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how exactly that happened, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Cross, roundhouse, and like I said, Dion is forever going to be dangerous. He landed that high kick from way out of range. We landed another low kick. Let's faint low kick. Let's go across. Knee, cross, high kick. We check his kick there, too. Oh, cross, low kick. Ah. Okay, he throwing a knee. Pushing back. Nice. Go to the body. Oh. I know his body health can't be looking good. I did get two body health events last round. Nice. Like I said, man, Jan is always, no matter what part of the fight it's, you know, early, late, mid fight, he's just a problem. He's trying to kick my legs now. He's trying to kick my legs now. I feel like the I feel like the high kick is coming from him because he's thrown a lot of things low. If you haven't noticed, well, low to my legs. Now, right there, what I did is I threw a cross, right? Then I delayed it, then threw the low kick, making him think, okay, he ain't gonna throw nothing. Instead of just throwing cross low kick real quick, I mix up the timing. There goes the high kick. I right there, like I was calling it. Okay. Okay. Good round, bro. This is an even better round for him. It's an even better round for him. Ooh, that go the leg. Boom, kick the leg again. Let's do a front kick. Boom, boom. Cross, body roundhouse to end the round. Gang got a rock. Okay, let's check the stats on this one, man. Round three. He got a knockdown. I got two. He got a knockdown and a leg health event. Well, I think it came from a check. Actually, no. It's because he kicked him. Actually, I'm not. I think it came from a leg kick from him. But this round, as you see, man, the efficiency for me was um, was way lower than usual. But all in all, good round. Got to give him that round for sure. Got to give him that round for sure. Okay. 
And we also have his leg low. Got to be careful. I want to throw a front kick. Oh. Oh, that goes to leg health. That goes to leg health event. Okay. Woo. This is this is Jan, man. He's a he doesn't he doesn't die, man. He doesn't die and he's a tank. He's a tank. Boom, catch with the front kick. Fake low. Go high. Okay. I feel like the high kick is coming. But also, I feel like a low kick is coming. Okay. Don't really know what he's going to throw. But my legs are weak as well as his. Oh, come here. Oh. If I threw it a little bit early, I would have been fine. Okay. Man, Jan is brolic. Still won't try to fight. I'm not going to fight in the inside with Jan, man. It's just a recipe for disaster. Okay. So you see the hands are going low, too. That's something I can, I can uh, adjust to as well. His hands are going low. Okay. Low kick. Low kick. Low kick. He let me land three in a row. Okay, we catch that. Go to his body. Faint. Low kick landed clean. Front kick landed clean. And my efficiency in this round is definitely very high right now. Very high right now. Okay. Kick the leg. Okay. Yeah, Jan, you gotta see, man. Jan is a damn tank. He is a. Oh, come here. Good night. Woo! That would have been good night for him. Check the stats very quick. I know the round's about to start. Okay. Yeah, my efficiency was very good in that round. Let's get it. What is this, round four? Oh, this is round five. Okay. This is round five. I feel like I'm winning. He's trying to... Okay. I feel like I could win in this fight. Woo! Jab cross. Kick the leg. Kick the leg again. Leg kick. Leg kick. Okay. Woo. Okay. I'm just trying to keep it kickboxing. There goes the leg rock. Goes to high. Okay. Throw a front kick to the face. Okay. I want to throw a high kick, but I really don't want my kick to be ducked. We rock the leg here. Jab cross. Delay low kick. He rocks me here. Nice head movement. All right, now you see he's a little gassed now. Oh, come here. Woo! Kick the leg again. We rock it. Okay. Just trying to continue being efficient. This is a long fight. It's probably going to be a bit of a longer video.
So if you actually watch this, if you watch, if you're still watching, you get to this point of the video, you're a demon, and I appreciate you. Kick the leg. Try to give a little fancy on him. Okay. Good night. Not good night yet, but low kick, low kick, low kick. Ah, uh, that's why I didn't. That that's why I don't want to throw the crazy stuff. If he threw a real hook there, he possibly could have ended the fight. That's why I don't want to throw the crazy stuff, man. Throw a front kick. Front kick again. He rocks me. Okay. <laughs> He's desperate. Hey. He is desperate. He is desperate. Bad to get this. Look at how he... Come here. Come here. You are so desperate, bro. To rock, to beat my block up and try to get that block break, bro. He was so desperate. It looked pathetic. Come on, man. You was fighting clean all up until you got to that point right there, bro. You just said, I'm just going to try to beat the block up and, and throw it. Like, come on, man. He even tried to throw that jump, that jump and switch kick. So he can, uh, you know, if it landed, it probably would have knocked me down and knocked me out because my block was so low and my head health was low. Come on, man. I was just having fun, bro. I was just having fun until you just said, I'm finna do this. But whatever, man. Hey, good round. Oh, well, actually, good fight because the fight's over. But let's check the stats very quickly, man. It's GG's all around. But, man, that what you did at the end, man, it, it hurt me a little bit, man. I can't cap. I can't cap. I want to check the stats before we uh we slide. So I threw 343, 345 strikes, I'm sorry. And I landed 153. And he threw... Almost a hundred more strikes to me and landed and I landed uh what eight more. Then I'll go I was actually 38 38. So it was tied up going to that round that last round. Okay. And GG's. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did and you watched all parts of this video, I appreciate you. Uh if you guys are new to the channel, I highly recommend you subscribe up, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next upload. I'm actually gonna be doing how to use for each one of these videos, all right? Well, each one of the fighters that I used this week. But with that being said, guys, stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward, and I love you guys. Peace.